It was under the late Fidel Castro's leadership that more than 40,000 Cuban internationalist combatants were sent to southern Africa to fight against the apartheid regime. Moreover, Cuba sent weapons to Angola in the battle at Quito Canavale, which the People's Liberation Army of Namibia planned fighters were involved. The founding president, Dr. Sem Nuyoma, explained that the clash in Angola resulted into the first meeting between the apartheid regime and Swapo leaders to discuss matters of political independence. We have a successful uh, wipeout completely of the South African troops. As a result, the apartheid regime of South Africa was compelled to, to agree for the negotiations of the, or the handover. This is how the, I, I knew the, the important role of that the Cuban troops, which were sent by uh, President Fidel Castro, whom we are now uh, learning that he has passed on. Nuyoma said Namibia will always be grateful for the assistance because without it, Swapo would still be struggling to achieve independence. Nobody really can send troops across the Great Atlantic Ocean to far away Angola. But uh, Fidel Castro considered that freedom of the, the, of the people of Africa is very important. And uh, I think it's only the Cuban troops, uh, Cuban people, who can really talk of freedom, of human rights, of the people of Africa and, uh, and the world at large. The founding president plans to attend Castro's funeral, saying if President Hagi Gengkop includes him in the delegation to go to Cuba, then he will be happy. Renata Rengura, NBC News, Hentis Bay.